Maybe this pain shoots from your neck into your shoulder. It's really deep, like a toothache almost. It might shoot electricity down to your fingertips. Maybe you have a tingling feeling, or maybe you just notice it when you couldn't open that jar. There's a weakness, you're dropping things. If this sounds like you, you could have a problem with the nerves in your neck. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can treat a pinched nerve in your neck at home. Providing you with pain relief strategies and wellness solutions for modern day living. My name is Dr. John Saunders. I'm a chiropractor in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. And what I wanna to talk to you about today is a pinched nerve. A pinched nerve is a bit of a misnomer, meaning that we assume that any pain that radiates from our neck down our arm has to be coming from a pinched nerve. Sometimes the nerves in your brachial plexus, these nerves here, that go basically from C5 down to T1, these nerves are often the culprit if you have pain that's radiating from your neck into your shoulder, and if it's really bad, right down into your hand. Sometimes these nerves are pinched by degenerative disc disease where the discs start to narrow, and that can definitely pinch the nerve. But oftentimes these nerves are just inflamed. Either they're inflamed from the position or the alignment of your neck, or they can even be pinched between muscles. In order to be successful in treating someone with a pinched nerve or a radiculopathy, as we call it, from the nerves down to the arm, we need to be very precise. In this video, I wanna give you three things that you can do at home to help alleviate some of the pressure and tension through those nerves that are causing you so much discomfort. We know the alignment and cervical spine is very important in terms of allowing these nerves to function normally. So oftentimes, based on our lifestyle, we have this posture where we're forward. And what can happen, instead of having a nice, smooth cervical C curve, the bones will start to straighten out. The cervical curve will be lost. Think things like looking at your phone, on our computers, you know, watching TV with bad posture. All these things can cause a loss of curve in the neck or cause these bones in your neck to not function or move properly. That in itself can irritate or inflame these nerves. So one of the first things I'm gonna show you is how to fix or help fix the alignment of your neck to take pressure off the nerves. The second thing we're gonna talk about is the muscles themselves. So there are muscles that surround the nerves in your neck. These muscles can get tight and when they get tight, they can put compression or tension or inflammation through these nerves that go down your arm. So we're gonna give you a stretch that can stretch these muscles to help alleviate any tension that may be going through your brachial plexus, causing your arm pain or shoulder pain. The other thing that can cause irritation to the nerves is a problem with the bones. So if you have an issue with your bones or your discs, such as degenerative disc disease, a cervical disc bulge or herniation, maybe you have some bone spurs, these things can absolutely put pressure on the nerve causing a pinched nerve symptoms. The first thing we're gonna show you is an easy, simple stretch to help restore normal alignment and motion in the seven cervical vertebrae in your neck. One of the first things we wanna do is make sure we're sitting up straight, shoulders back, we wanna take our chin and we wanna tuck our chin and then we want to add an extension. That's going to help pull our head over back over top of our shoulders and create that curve and normal motion of extension in our neck, like this. We want you to do this for a three to five second hold. Ten to fifteen times, three times a day. Shoulders back, tuck. Extend, hold, and repeat. What you don't want to do is you don't want to extend through your thoracic spine or your back. You don't want to lean back. It should be mostly focused on your neck movement. Like this, shoulders back, chin tuck, extend. Just as a tip, if you're having trouble sleeping or finding the right position, click this video above. It's gonna show you the proper way to sleep if you have neck pain, headaches, tingling, or even a pinched nerve. The second thing we're gonna look at is how can we release the muscles in the neck that may be compromising the nerves causing your pain. A very simple but important stretch is trying to stretch out your scalene muscles, the muscles that are on the side of your neck. 
So very simply for this one, again, we want to have our shoulders back. We want to grab the side or the front of a chair or a stool, whatever you're sitting on. And what we want to do is we want to stretch the affected side. As we lean, we're going to let our shoulder drop down. We don't want to keep it up. We want to let it drop down. We're going to grab the same side, the left side, and we're going to gently stretch as we stretch away. You're going to really feel that stretch in through here. And then again, you're going to hold this for 15 to 30 to 45 seconds. You can do this multiple times a day. Really, really do this very slow and controlled. You do not want to have any jerking motions. It can irritate things further. So here it is again. Drop the shoulder. Opposite arm. Nice stretch. And finally, for the third at-home release strategy for a pinched nerve in your neck, we're going to go to the bones. And so what you need for this is very simply, you need a rolled towel. We're going to do some decompression. We're going to elongate. So what we're trying to do is we want to elongate and pretend there's a string or a rope pulling straight up on your head. We want to open up that disc space, open up the whole where that nerve comes out, trying to take any pressure from either a bone spur, a degenerative disc, or a bulge off of that nerve. So very simply, a rolled towel works really, really well. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the back of the towel underneath the back of our skull called the occiput. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend our head slightly and we're gonna traction up to the ceiling. You're going to hold that for anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds, three or four sets, three times a day. So maybe morning, middle of day, afternoon. Again, pretend there's a string or a rope pulling your head up. It's very simply, a towel is great because there's not that much flexibility in it. You're going to extend slightly and pull up. And from the side. Again, visualize your head being pulled up, opening that disc space. That feels really good. You'll feel your neck traction and it's gonna open up that space and take some pressure off those nerves. I have seen so many patients suffering from a pinch or an inflamed or a stretched nerve bundle that affects their arm, it affects the use of their arm, it affects their sleep, their ability to work. One thing is certain is if these exercises or at home strategies are helping, what you want to notice is that the pain is becoming centralized, meaning it's going to start to move. If it's in your hand, we want it to be moving back up towards the neck. If this centralization is happening, keep doing what you're doing, you're doing a great job. If any of these exercises or stretches irritate what's going on in your neck, then you might want to seek some professional help. One thing is certain, I know that you can get better from this. Don't give up hope. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, please comment below. I'll answer those questions for you. And to be informed of future videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'd be honored if you followed us. I hope these three strategies give you some much needed relief in the comfort of your own home. My name is Dr. John Saunders. I'm a chiropractor in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Until then, be well.